Ray's way in. It's ready. It's ready. I don't know if it's gonna work I'm so tired of weighing myself. So tired of weighing myself. It doesn't help me, it makes me sad. If it goes up. Yep, I was 516 the other day, and now we're back up to 518. But it's fine, when I start doing my liquid diet, I'm gonna drop right back down and probably get to the fours. So it's okay. Okay guys, I'll be back. I just have to write this down. Okay, I'm back. Reese Boat is back. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so we're having the usual. We're having Crystal Light, but this is a different flavor. This is, oh yeah, same. I think this is strawberry, banana, and orange, yeah. My last one, so I need to buy some more today when I go to the store. Um, I'm in one of my old tight shirts. Still kind of like big on me, but it's okay. So today, guys, we're having eggs with cheese and a little bit of, um, a little bit. It, I didn't put any protein in it today because I felt like I had enough protein yesterday. So today, we're just doing eggs by itself with some cheese and some, um, and this is healthy cheese. This is from Lucky's Market. If you guys have a Lucky's Market, go check it out. And look at all the steam coming. Um, so this is healthy cheese from Lucky's Market. Just some shredded mozzarella. So it's not really different from if you bought it from Publix. Unless they add more in their stuff at Publix. I don't know. This shirt is like, still makes me look really big. But I'm not big, guys. I promise. You guys have seen that I'm not big. Um, but anyway. So... I'm 518 today, so I went up two numbers, but I don't know why. My, it's just my body, like it's weird. Like I don't add anything different or anything less. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I, I bet you next week when I go on the liquid diet, when I go back to the liquid diet next week, Monday, I'll probably lose me in the fours exactly because I'll probably get down to like 305 in that week because it's just a liquid. So I know I haven't got any call back from Celebration yet, so I don't understand what's going on, but it's okay. It's a process. Oh, and I'm going to tell you guys a good thing. I had a fan of mine who, um, I don't know if she watched one of my YouTube videos or something, but she's really cool and she's about to do the procedure too. Um, I've had other people that have contacted me that have done the surgery or they want to do the surgery, but they don't know how to do the surgery. They're too, they just feel like they can never do it because it sounds like it's so controlling. And they feel like they don't have the willpower. Listen to me. Listen to me, okay? If this is the only thing you ever take from my videos, listen to me, okay? I want to put this up just a little bit more so you guys can see me. Okay. So listen to me. <clears throat> You can do anything you put your mind to, okay? Anything, okay? I'm learning that just in like, since July to where we are now. I've learned that, okay? Because believe me, I was in your place where I thought there was no way in heck, there's no way in heck that I would be doing that. Like, there was no way. I loved my food too much. I loved my soda too much. I was like, there's no way. You guys are kidding me. Like, there's no way I'm gonna be on a diet. Yeah, right. Um... Like, there's no way. When the discipline, when the, when the losing, like, oh, I lost, I only lost five pounds. Oh, I only lost three pounds. I lost 17 pounds when I was in the hospital. So it happened really, really, really quick. And that was because they had me on a structure eating plan. Like, I wasn't on any diet, no diet at all. They just were feeding me my three meals a day. And at home, I wasn't doing that. I was eating so much junk and I was snacking between the, the through the whole day and they didn't do one big meal at dinner or lunch and then that was like it for me and then I would be still snacking through the night before I went to bed. 
And then I would wake up with like heartburn or acid reflex disease or whatever I had. And the doctors were like, okay. And I was still two numbers off from having diabetes, but that was for like the last two years. But I never got it. Thank God. But all I'm telling you is if you want to do my diet and not even do the surgery and if you're smaller than me, like if you're weighing 200 and you don't want to be 250 or you don't want to be 260 or you don't want to be 270 or if you don't even want to be 300, if you do the phase one and phase two diet, I promise you, you guys will lose a lot of weight. If you do it for a whole month or even if you do it for two or three weeks, you're going to lose a good amount of weight. And there's other diets out there that work. Believe me, there are. You got the one that Oprah's doing, that she keeps committing, that used to be um, the Atkins diet, I think she's doing. But she calls it, no, it used to be called Weight Watcher, but now it's called W something. Um, but for people who are about to have surgery, or want to have surgery, or want to know about surgery, or want to watch someone who is doing surgery that is their heaviest weight was 619 and now they're weighing 518 516 5 whatever i've lost 100 and who knows how many pounds it is now you need to go watch all my videos from day one getting ready for surgery because i have it all numbered and we're already now at 70 day 70 getting ready for surgery waiting for them to call or whatever i titled it yesterday i can't believe that i've been on a diet for that long I've never cheated, I've never broken the diet, I've followed the diet all the way through it, and that's how I've lost so much weight, because I follow it completely. Now, my weight going up and down, that's not my fault, that's been happening my whole life, that's gonna happen when you're on a diet, that's normal. It's when you, if you gain it all back, that's when the problem is. Like, if I went from 519, or from 518, all the way back to 546, there's a problem there. That means I'm not following the diet. But that's not going to happen. Because I promise you, when you lose your first 68 pounds or your first 40 pounds or your first, first 50 pounds, you're not going to want to go back. And then when you lose your first 80 pounds like I did, oh my God, guys, I felt like a new person. I could walk. I wasn't hunched over. I wasn't breathing badly. I was fitting, starting to slowly fit back in clothes. I mean, I haven't even tried all the clothes I have. I probably could fit in some of them. Some of them might still be tight, but that's okay. My waist is starting to shrink. My chest area is starting to sag, and that's a good sign because it means that I'm losing weight. And my legs are now getting smaller, and my empathema is not that bad on one leg. Um, it's like... And if you're, if you're on oxygen, if you're on diabetes or anything, as you lose weight, those things will go away. And when you have surgery, they go away permanently. So like they told me, they told me my high blood pressure will go away. They told me my INR, like different levels will come, will be good. They said I can stop my sleep machine. They said I can stop my, um, I won't need, you know, I won't have any more problems, you know. And a lot of people who have diabetes that do the surgery, it's gone. It's gone after they do the surgery. Or people who are on a breathing machine, it's gone. Because your body was waiting for you to be healthy. Like my body is waiting for me to be healthy. For the longest time, my left leg um up by my knee was numb for so many months and so many years and now I can finally feel it back and that scared me because I'm like am I having a stroke am I is my leg dying like I didn't know what was happening and it was numb for the longest time and I would have like a scratch and be bleeding and be like why am I bleeding and it's because it was numb so then I didn't know if like something some type of spider bite me or something oh I was like freaking out but I think the doctor told me that when you get a certain age or, or when you get to a certain size, your body will start to like have problems and shut down. And I think that that's what happened. I hit one of the nerves or the fat got around some nerve or something. So now that I've lost weight, the nerve doesn't hurt anymore and I can feel on that side again. And it's like amazing. Um, this shirt that I'm wearing now used to be so tight on me. 
because this is an 8X. I usually wore 9X, okay? And an 8X was even tight on me. I haven't been a 6X in so long, but before the year is over, I probably will be in a 6X or a 3X. If I get down to 200, I'll probably be in a, in a 2X. So, just know that you guys can do it. You just need a lot of discipline. You need good people around you. You have to cut out all the bad people, all the negative people that are in your life that will pull you down. You have to cut them out. You have to have good family behind you. You have to have, you're going to need money because you're going to need to buy a lot of different stuff. You're going to have to buy the diet stuff. You're going to have to buy the, well, there's really not a diet. Well, you have to buy the diet food. And you do have to, they will put you on a lot of vitamins if your levels are low or whatever. My situation, they had to put me on a bunch of vitamins and stuff. So I went from taking no pills to now taking a lot of pills. So, but it's helped me. And plus I had the blood clot and the high blood pressure and I had the oxygen problem. So now if you have none of those problems, but you're just overweight, but you're still healthy, that's good. You're like, you're ahead of a lot of people. And so the doctors will look at that and be like, okay, well, you just need the surgery before you have these problems. Because when I went in 2016, the first time when I wanted to go to the surgery, and we did the class and everything, I had no problems, no problems. My only problem was just my walking. And they were like, they, they ran my insurance, they saw my insurance covers it, but then I had to pay like the other half. And I was like, okay, I can just do a payment plan. And then... I was like surprised that they covered half of it. I had to cover because I was like, "There's no way I can pay the surgery because it's in thousands." But when the surgery was like, "We'll cover half. We need you to pay twelve hundred eight, twelve thousand dollars eight hundred something like that." I don't want to know how to tell numbers. You know me. So I was like, "That's not a problem. I can do a payment plan. That's fine." But then when they wanted me to diet and lose sixty pounds, I just see a nutritionist. And a nutritionist wanted me walking every two minutes or every half an hour. I mean, there's no way that this is going to work. Um, my brain was just not with it yet. And I was dealing with a lot at that time. And I just was not with it. I was so not with it yet. And so then I just like didn't do it. So then last year, and then I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. The lady waited a whole year before I went back out there. And then I got a new, like, two or three new caseworkers to be my caseworkers in the time that I waited. Because it's been, like, three years. So, like, when we were, when I made the appointment, because we were finally ready to make the appointment, because I was dealing with all the medical issues. When I finally made the appointment, and all my doctors were like, you need to go out there. And I went out there, and they were like, Mr. Cross, the surgery is free. You need to do it. I was like, heck yeah, I'm doing it. Um, they were already impressed with me because I've lost 17 pounds. And I, I didn't, when, when we went, when we went in, when we went in July or whenever we went, I have to look up the date. I didn't think that the surgery was going to happen that quick. I thought they were going to be like, Mr. Cross, we need you to. We need you to get off the Coumadin and then we'll do the surgery. So I'm like, okay, they said six months until I'm off the Coumadin or sometime next year. So I'm thinking, okay, I still can eat junk food until next year and then I'll do the surgery. <laughs> I was wrong. They were like, no, we can still do the surgery. You need to start dieting like today. But I went out and ate Wendy's my last day. Gave myself until, until June 20, I think it was June 29th or June 28th was my last junk day and I was out with Jama and we went to Wendy's. I wanted to eat big, like buffet, but then I didn't because I already lost a lot of weight. So I was like, I don't want to put anything back. So we went to, we went to, we went to Wendy's and we ate a chicken sandwich. So it wasn't really big. And that was my last hoo ha was a Wendy's chicken sandwich, grilled chicken sandwich with bacon and cheese and then French fries. And then, uh, just a, strawberry coke or something or no their orange fanta was delicious so it was an orange fanta it was me and her husband and we all just sat in the car and talked and then she left that morning to go to the philippines and then i started my diet that day 
I woke up the next morning and that's when I started. And I started eating the small portions, the four ounces and the different stuff and the three eggs in the morning because by that time they gave me the list and everything. And I started and I did really good. I was hard at first because I promise you every time that I start a diet, someone in my house cooks what I've been craving. Like the last time I started a diet, I was craving potato and hash, right? We come home and my sister was making potato and hash. I was like, are you kidding me? I was craving this for so long. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, it's fine. And then like the last time I started that, that Monday morning, there was something cooked in the house. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I love that food. And I was just like, I can't. And then me and Jama, when she came, cause she was gone for a whole month. Mm -hmm. um, when she came back, I was like, I've lost a lot of weight. Um, when she saw me, she said, oh my gosh, you look so good. And you could see it. The first place that I lost the weight was in my face. That was the first place. But anyways, guys, I love you so much for watching. It's getting really long, the video. Make sure to just focus if you really want to do the diet, guys. And I'm here for you. I'll walk you through it step by step, step by step. But seriously, go watch phase one, day one of my diet. Um, I started it. I started July twenty, July first. I think I started July first. I might need to go back and look at that. And we're now at day seventy one. Today's video will be day seventy one, getting ready for surgery. It's two thousand and nineteen. I'm still waiting, and hopefully they'll call me. So I love you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome two Wednesday, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, peace.